The kick out to Pierce. No good with the triple. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure, because this guy's too good of a shooter to miss that look consistently. What a finish with that hoop. L.A.'s gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. And it's Miller penetrating. Pierce, the pass to Stevenson. Back to Pierce. The dish to Miller. Left side, Miller. And so he draws the foul on the shot on trip to the line to shoot two. The Clippers have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chance. And the Clippers making a switch here. So he gets them both. Here's Bargnani. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. Start your new year with the NBA. DeMarcus Cousins and the Sacramento Kings take on Nikola Pekovic and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Los Angeles leading by 21, and New York leading to the big Anthony is out there with Quincy East. Then it's Bargnani, and there's Shane Larkin, and it's Galloway in the shooting goal. Here's Larkin. Doubled by Crawford. Larkin dishes to Anthony. Looks for Bargnani, gets it to him. Second shot opportunity, and that's two points on the way. He got a great read of where that miss was going. That allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Wasted no time on that one. Miller's got 42 in the game. All the buckets he's poured in today have put them in a terrific position heading into the stretch. Anthony kicks to his. But it's going to be two free throws, two contact on the shot. You know, it took a little while for the state to see it now. The team to fear is the Clippers. A little tough here at home last year. So guys, you were talking about the Clippers. It wasn't that they would beat you here. Steve, they would blow you out here. Yeah, I mean, their average win margin here at home last year was almost double digits. When you think about that average, they would win by a blowout here at Staples. You can't leave him alone, especially from long range. Johnson over the hill. Outside Hardaway. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer off line. Los Angeles has gone two for two for three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Griffin goes in. Griffin just having a terrific game. 31 points, and he's produced six points from the free throw line. That's nice work. Uh, he's helping their cause, finding some easy points through uh, penetration and attacking the defense. Well, Griffin, a former dunk contest champion, but make no mistake, Blake is a game dunker, always among the league leaders. And at his size, with that strength, the way he gets off the floor is just unbelievable. Josh Smith, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Austin Rivers comes in for Jamal Crawford. Paul goes in. That's good from 17 feet away. And he's now got the double-double. 10 points and 18 assists. Pass to Hardaway. Trying to find Smith. He's got it now. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. You know, Blake Griffin gets up so hot. He's created some debate that on the definition of a dunk. So I ask, does your hand have to touch the rim? You know, I think you don't necessarily have to have your hands on the rim, Kevin, but you do have to throw it through the goal. None of this um, raggedy type dunk stuff. Got to control it. You got to Yeah, I like the that's ball. the word I was looking for. And it's good. Griffin's got 35. They're perfectly content to keep going to that mid-range jumper. If the defense is going to give it to them, they'll take it all day. Yeah, why not? I mean, you, you have to just take what's there, and as long as you're moving the ball and getting good shots, that's all that matters. I've really appreciated their activity in the post today. I mean, their movement down low has been great. Yep, ball movement, player movement, are generating a lot of easy opportunities for themselves down there. You don't need much range to hit from that distance, Kevin. Knocked loose, stolen by Rivers. And he dunks it down. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk Clark coming within seconds of the steal. Love the way they convert from defense to offense. But, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. Galloway, the pass to Anthony. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the Clippers. 
Paul's got his third rebound on the night. Griffin goes in. He kicks to Rivers. The 19-foot shot. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. And assists like that have typified their effort today. Great ball. Move. Really an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Paul dishes to Rivers. Feeds to Griffin. And the rejection by Smith. But he gets it back. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. They got to keep fighting their way to the line, guys. This happens. There's nothing but success for them there. And their confidence has to just continue to go up the longer the perfection continues. So for the Clippers, Aldrich comes in for Smith and Miller subbed in for Rivers. Well, there's so much talk about the intentional foul, whether it's good for the league or not. Some people say, hey, let's keep the rule. Make the guys make the free throw. If you can't make a free throw, then coach has to take him out. On the other hand, it's boring to watch. It slows the game down. I'd like to see the elimination of the rule. Don't let a, a foul fest go on and just have a play to the foul. Paul with the bucket. New York's gone 3-6 tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Early kicks to Goldenham, and it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. They had no choice but to lunge for that pass to stop it from getting through. Well, that was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds there. Tipped away. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. Oh, guys, maybe the most important play in the NBA that isn't more really attractive at is the screen. A good one can make a huge difference in creating a high percentage shot, but it's a play that so often goes overlooked. Griffin on the double team. Now here's Schved, guarded closely. Four on the clock. New York needs to get off a shot. Offline with his three. And screens, Clark, getting more attention with modern scouting. The old stats look at the outcome of a play, make a miss. It's like evaluating chess by only the checkmates. No, I agree. I mean, you start to dig deeper and get to other layers of how you analyze the numbers and how that affects how you game plan to discover the tendencies of, of players. And all of that you're doing in an effort to become more successful. Griffin on the wing, Miller. Tries again. Amundsen grabs the board. Amundsen's got his fourth down in this one. And Jay gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Jay Larkin's checked in for New York. Pass to Early with the shot. And the shot is long. Los Angeles has gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. Paul for three, and a great assist by Miller as that one goes in. Miller's got three assists now in this one. Doubled by Aldridge. Here's Early, who's guarded by Johnson. Amundsen, good. Second chance point starting to pay off. Just a ton of hustle here, we see. And you can get a lot of momentum going for your side with a timely offensive rebound. And they've had more than a few of those. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Nice shot by Larkin. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, dominating performance for Los Angeles. You know, Clark, when you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shoot. So you said it all there, Kevin. They were lethal from behind the arc. And with this win, they'll end up notching another victory for this year's campaign, win number 33. And I think this win builds confidence for uh, this year in the matchup. They'll take the first win of the season series, and you know, that could play a factor the next time these two teams meet. And that next meeting will be their second and final game of the season series, being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in a two-game season series. But I think the next game will be hotly contested. And you have to look back at this and see what a huge game it's been for Blake Griffin. He was really everywhere, defensively, offensively. The total effort we saw from him, I think, was the difference. Johnson over to help. Early kicks to Amundsen. Shots good. Room service delivery right there, fellas. Wonderful entry feed. 
About three seconds between shot and game clock. Paul passes to Griffin. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Griffin's got 41. They didn't take their time wrapping this game up. They pretty much did it in a hurry. Yeah, they had a nice spurt to polish this one off. Amundsen can't hit. Now here's Johnson. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. Not much to be critical of with this ring card. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan player of the game, Blake Griffin.